Welcome this morning. Glad you're with us. Nebuchadnezzar's officer, Nebuchadnezzar, knows something that a lot of the Hebrews still don't understand. What is it? Let's look at it today in our reading at Jeremiah chapter 40, that's 4040, verses 1 to 6. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord after Nebuchadnezzar and the captain of the guard had let him go from Ramah when he had taken him bound in chains among all who were carried away captive from Jerusalem and Judah, who were carried away captive to Babylon. And the captain of the guard took Jeremiah and said to him, The Lord your God has pronounced this doom on this place. Now the Lord has brought it and has done just as he said, because you people have sinned against the Lord and have not obeyed his voice. Therefore, this thing has come upon you. And now look, I free you this day from the chains that were on your hand. If it seems good to you to come with me to Babylon, come, and I will look after you. But if it seems wrong for you to come with me to Babylon, remain here. See, all the land is before you. Wherever it seems good and convenient for you to go, go there. Now while Jeremiah had not yet gone back, Nebuchadnezzar said, Go back to Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, whom the king of Babylon has made governor over the cities of Judah, and dwell with him among the people. Or go wherever it seems convenient for you to go. So the captain of the guard gave him rations and a gift and let him go. Then Jeremiah went to Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, to Mizpah and dwelt there with him among the people who were left in the land. So here we have some detail about the actual release of Jeremiah. It could be he was initially released and then regrouped with prisoners and then released the second time. It's not completely clear. But what is interesting is what Nebuchadnezzar says in verses 2 to 4. That's very interesting to us. Nebuchadnezzar recognizes the sovereignty of God. He recognizes how the Hebrew people have sinned, and that has led to their defeat by Babylon. Very interesting that this, this heathen, this pagan officer, knows more about what God is doing than what those princes who are on their way to Babylon now knew. It's so interesting how sometimes even the heathen can see Things that the elites, the pointy-headed ivory tower people, they're stuck in their bubbles. They can't see. They just can't see. They, they have a restricted way of thinking, and they can't see what's happening in the very world that they're in. They are living in kind of a la-la land, and, and they are way wrong in terms of what's really going on in their world. The princes, the prophets, the priests, the king of Judah, they've all been in this terrible bubble, and the bubble has burst. It's done now. Now they're hauled away. Never more to influence things the way they would have wanted to. They could not see what God was doing and how they could have rightly responded to his initiatives. God tried, God tried through Jeremiah and others, but they refused to see. It's not that they couldn't see, it's that they refused to see. The unreal picture they had of the way things really are kept them from seeing how tragically it would all end. Now all their dreams are shattered, their power and influence is destroyed and now God will continue to work for his people through other hearts that are more receptive. Let's pray. Dear God, you are not idle in our world. You weren't idle in Jeremiah's world, and you're not idle in the world of today. You're we're looking for hearts you can work through. May our hearts be available to you. Help us, Lord, to not be trapped inside of our own bubbles, our own imaginations. Help us to be seeking your path. It's very easy to generate our own path and be sure that's the one. But Lord, help us to be seeking your guidance, your pathway, your leadership. Lord, you be our king. That's the plan we have. And we ask, we ask you to lead us in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, there's our lesson. We must beware too much of trusting in leaders. God is our leader. It's very easy for human leaders to get off into the, off into the corner somewhere. So God, let God be your leader. And all human leaders, a very distant, very distant second. God will never take us astray. Human leaders, more often than not, will get us off into the mud. God will be our helper if we trust him. God be with you today.